Regarding to structures, there is another new feature that is uh, available at Strubing Rebar. Okay, so I'm jumping here from Cypcad to Strubing Rebar. Um, yes, this is Strubing Rebar. I swear this is Strubing Rebar. Although see here you can see the same model that we have been looking here before at uh, Cyp Architecture. Actually, I choose the same model because I think it's nice to show how these softwares are integrated in the same system. So, Cyp Architecture, Strubing Rebar. Cyp Architecture, Strubing, uh, Strubing Rebar. Okay, uh, here, Strubing Rebar. Um, it's how it works. So, the softwares, they are all connected. Uh, and this is a good example of that. So, this little house uh, was designed at Cyp Architecture. Then the structure was analyzed at Cypcat, and now I'm here in Strubing Rebar to create all the details or to manage all the steel rebar details of this reinforced concrete structure. So, for example, I would deactivate here the, the architectural model just to show you that behind it or inside it, we have the structure created with Cypcat. And if I deactivate the structure, we have the reinforced bars here, or the rebars are here, okay? So these rebars, they were not uh, manually modeled, they were generated from the analysis. When I decided to analyze this structure with Cypcat, selecting a code, designing the geometry of my structure, and then I press it, the button, analyze, this is one of the results that I have. So when I send information from Cypcat to Strubing Rebar, I can have this, all these details here, okay? And it's quite nice because I can use this information also to check how the other disciplines are placed in, in my project. So here I have been, I, I left the, the, the this pipes from Cypher Plumbing activated just to see if I have any problem uh, with the, the pipes in my, in my, in my structure. That could be very useful to inspect um, how, how our team is working, okay? Um, I can deactivate it, for example, I have here one option, I can deactivate the, the pipes and then I have just the, the rebars that are uh, now here available at Strubing Rebar, which is the new feature that we have here at Strubing Rebar. The first one is the interface is totally new, okay? As you saw before, I can work in a 3D environment, I can also choose for a specific angle and work in 2D, uh, in a 2D environment. I can create different um, can create different sections like these or different views. Uh, for example, this one, this one, the, 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 or or a 3D, for example. Uh, and I can also have here different layers of information that can come from different parts of the project: architects, uh, architectural model, structural model, or MMP or I can activate or deactivate different elements that are related to these rebars. So just the, I can deactivate just the, just the, the different parts of the, the, the element. Another thing that is new here is that I can edit these elements, okay? So I can click on each uh, group of a rebar. For example, if I select this, I don't know, this column or this bin, I can click it here and I can open this window and I can see this part of the project uh, here, okay, the, this detail. And for each part of this uh, element, I can see, actually in this table, I can see the three types of elements that I have. So I have three bars, so three bars that are that, that have the reference P1 that are made with this kind of steel, have this diameter, and then uh, have this size, 42, four centimeters. Then I have, for example, three other bars that are different in this case, that are these bars with this detail, and then I have 16 different elements that are those elements that have this detail here, okay? If I come back, for example, to another element, let's let's look for another being like this one. Uh, here, it's quite similar. Let me see if, or this, this foot in here, I have here another situation different elements with different details, different sizes. Uh, but here I can see all the details of these elements. I can select in the, the list and I'll see highlighted here in the 3D model and also the detail here in this sketch window. One thing that is quite nice here is that I can edit this information if I want. Almost always I will not need to do that because uh, the results provided by Sidecad are very precise. 
uh, although strobing rebar could be used also with other softwares that are not made by SIPE. So in the, depending on the situation, maybe you, you must adjust these uh, details. And if you want, you can change or add more uh, elements. You can change the size of these elements. You can change the steel that was used, the diameter. Uh, you can add initial or final hooks. You can, for example, open your library of materials, add more types of steel. Because actually what we are creating here is not just a drawing, it's not just a model, a 3D model of the rebars, but it's also um, a file that could be then exported to different formats. For example, we can export this information to IFC uh, and use this model then uh, in another software uh, to consolidate the project, or we can export these rebars in BVBS, that is a specific format to send to manufacturers uh, that just import these files to their in their machines and then all the, the, the rebars will be produced according to the model. So we will we will don't have we will not have um, human actions to bend or cut this uh, these rebars because this file provides all the information that is compatible with these machines and the machines will do all the work. So uh, the idea here is uh, to consolidate the rebars from a project, from a BIM project, and then send this information to uh, to the industry industry to to fabricate it. Okay. Another use of strobing rebar that is quite uh, quite useful is the the you, you can export from different type softwares, different projects. For example, you can have one part of your project created with SIPCAD another one created, for example, with strobing box culverts or strobing cantilever walls, they will be th three three or four or five different designs, three or four or five different parts of the structure. You can export everything to Bing Server Center, synchronize it, open it here at strobing rebar, and here you can consolidate all the rebars of the project. You can see everything together, and then you can also export your IFCs or your BVBSs, okay? So uh, the main new feature of streaming here, as, as I said before, is the, this new interface. Are, there are not another new features like these options to edit or inspect the elements that were created. And there are new options here to um, quantify or visualize some geometry information. For example, we can measure the length of something here, or I don't know, or we can measure some areas, some angles, just to inspect something if you, you, you want. It's just a complementary tool, tool that is available here is also available in different other softwares from SIPE. okay uh, but as as i said before the 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 main task that we will have we'll do here is consolidate the the, the rebars and then export it to ifc okay um to work with this option it, there is also a model that is available so you can contact your your uh, sales manager from your region or country one of our resellers to include this option to your um, site if you want to use this these options here okay of course then you can also export it to Bing server center as any other software and one thing that it would be nice here is export this information and then for example see it in augmented reality or virtual reality you can put it on real scale for example go to the field and I, maybe you, you you already saw on on social media those guys that share the digital version of the building with all the rebars in the construction field so you can create that effect by exporting this information to Bing server center and then uh, opening this file uh, in your mobile app okay the, the mobile app version of Bing server center mm -hmm.